Hi children. Good morning each and everyone. Dear children, in the previous session we learnt the basic concepts of vectors. Today in this session we will be learning the scalar product of two vectors and its properties. If a bar and b bar are any two non-zero vectors, any non-zero vectors and if theta is the angle between a bar and b bar, angle between a bar and b bar, then the dot product of a bar and b bar is denoted as denoted as a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar just read it as a bar dot b bar and he is defined he is defined as product of product of magnitudes product of magnitudes of a bar and b bar and cosine of angle cosine of angle between a bar and b bar again if a bar and b bar are any two uh, non zero vectors then uh, the dot product of a bar and b bar is denoted as a bar dot b bar and is defined as the product of magnitudes of a bar and b bar and cosine of angle between a bar and b bar cosine of angle between a bar and b bar this uh, scalar product of two vectors is also called as dot product of two vectors dot product of two vectors in symbolically it is denoted as that is a bar dot b bar is equal to magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into cos theta into cos theta where theta is the angle between a bar and b bar the dot product of two vectors a bar and b bar is symbolically written has symbolically written has magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into cos theta where theta is the angle between a bar and b bar theta is the angle between a bar and b bar okay so you should remember this formula that is a bar dot b bar is equals to magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into cos theta next we have properties of scalar product or dot product of two vectors here first one we have a bar dot b bar is a scalar is a scalar that means the dot product of two vectors is always a scalar that is a real number real number next second one we have that is a bar dot b bar is equals to b bar dot a bar that is dot product of two vectors is commutative is commutative the dot product of two vectors is commutative that is a bar dot b bar can be written as b bar dot a bar next we have hi dot i is equals to j dot j is equals to k dot k that is a 
द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सिमिलर वेक्टर्स गिव्स वन दट इज हई डाट इज ईक्वल टू वन जे डाट जे इज ईक्वल टू वन के डाट के इज ईक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट फोर्थ वन वी हाव हई डाट जे इज ईक्वल टू जे डाट के इज ईक्वल टू के डाट ई इज ईक्वल टू सॉरी डाट वी हाव डाट इज ईक्वल टू जीरो डाट प्रोडक्ट आफ अनलैक् वेक्टर्स गिव्स जीरो दट इज ई डाट जे इज ईक्वल टू जे डाट के इज ईक्वल टू के डाट ई इज ईक्वल टू जीरो इज ईक्वल टू जीरो नेक्स्ट वी हाव फिफ्थ वन का दट इज क्वजैन आफ आंगल क्वजैन आफ आंगल क्वजैन आफ आंगल इज ईक्वल टू दट ईज ए बार डाट बे बार डिवैड बै मैंग्यूड आफ ए बार इंटू मैंग्यूड आफ बे बार सो काीट इज ईक्वल टू ए बार डाट बे बार डिवैड बै मैंग्यूड आफ ए बार इंटू मैंग्यूड आफ बे बार So then, what is theta? That implies uh, theta is equal to cos inverse of cos inverse of that is a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar. So this is theta angle. This is cosine of angle, and this is uh, angle between a bar and uh, b bar. Next, so six one we have if. ए बार अंड बी बार आर् पर्पंडिकुलाच अदर पर्पंडिकुलाच अदर दाट प्रोडक्ट आफ टू वेक्टर्स इज ईक्वल टू जीरो दट ईस ए बार डाट बी बार इज ईक्वल टू जीरो सो वेन एवर टू वेक्टर्स आर् पर्पंडिकुलाच अदर वेन एवर द टू वेक्टर्स आर पर्पंडिकुलर टू इच इफ इट इस ए बर् अंड बी बर् इफ द आंगल बिटवी दिस इज नई डिग्री दिन मी से दट ए बार ईज पर्पंडिकुलर टू बी बर् आर् बी बर् ईज पर्पंडिकुलर टू हे बर् दे प्रोडक्ट आफ ए बार अंड बी बर् ईज जीरो आर् वैस वर्स इफ ए बार डाट बी बर् इज ईक्वल टू जीरो It indicates or it implies a bar is perpendicular to b bar. Should remember both, vice versa. If a bar dot b bar is equal to zero, it indicates a bar is perpendicular to b bar or b bar is perpendicular to a bar. Or if a bar and b bar are perpendicular to each other, then their dot product is zero. That is, a bar dot b bar is equal to Uh, zero. Okay, you should remember uh, these uh, properties. Again, we have a bar dot b bar is a scalar or a real number. Next, second one we have a bar dot b bar is equal to b bar dot a bar. A bar dot b bar is equal to b bar dot a bar. Next, third one we have. I dot I is equal to J dot J is equal to K dot K is equal to one. I dot J is equal to J dot K is equal to K dot I is equal to zero. Cosine of angle is equal to A bar dot B bar divided by magnitude of A bar into magnitude of B bar. Again, if A bar and B bar are in any two vectors which are perpendicular to each other, then we say that A bar dot B bar Z equals to zero or reverse. If a bar dot b bar is equal to zero, then a a bar is perpendicular to a bar is perpendicular to b bar. Next, next one we have for any vector a bar dot a bar z equals to magnitude of a bar all square magnitude of a bar all square. That means a bar dot a bar can be written as Magnitude of a bar whole square r, so that is b bar dot b bar is equals to magnitude of b bar whole square. B bar whole square again. So remember, so dot product is not associative. That is, 
so that is a bar dot b bar of dot c bar it is not defined not a defined you can't write like this okay a bar dot b bar of dot c bar is not defined okay so it is not a commutative you can't it is not defined you can say it is not defined okay you should remember this well very well okay next we have scalar or dot product of two vectors in terms of components in terms of components if a bar z equals to x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k and b bar is equals to x2 i plus y2 j plus z to k z to k then dot product that is a bar dot b bar is equals to here what is a bar we have x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k again dot we have b bar that is x2 i plus y2 j plus z2 k z2 k so this is dot okay therefore that is equal to again x1 into x2 x1 this with this x1 into x2 of i dot i i dot i again plus x1 into y1 x1 into y2 y2 of we have i dot j i dot j again plus x1 into z2 x1 into z2 of i dot k i dot k again plus now with this y that is y1 into x2 y1 into x2 of j dot i that is j dot i again plus y1 into y2 y1 into y2 of j dot j j dot j again plus we have y1 into y1 into z2 of we have j dot k j dot k again plus we have z1 into we have z1 into x2 that is z1 into x2 of k dot i k dot i again plus z1 z1 into y2 of k dot j again plus z1 into z2 z1 into uh, z2 of k dot k k dot k right again that's equals to x1 into x x1 into x2 what is i dot i we have one so already a given property that i dot i is equals to one again j dot j is equals to one k dot k is equals to one and i dot j is equal to zero or i j dot j dot k is equals to zero again j dot i something okay is equals to what zero i should remember this okay the dot product of unlike vectors uh, gives zero again now that is x1 into y2 into of i dot j so this becomes zero so zero into this zero again now again j dot i i dot k zero zero into this term zero again y1 into x2 j dot i so this becomes zero zero into this is zero again y1 into y2 what is j dot j we have one one into this term that is uh, plus y1 into y2 again so y1 into z2 of j dot k so this becomes zero zero into this is zero next z1 into x2 k dot i zero zero into this is zero again z1 into y1 k dot j this is zero zero into this zero again z1 into z2 k dot k so one into this so we have same term that is z1 into z2 so this is a dot product of a bar dot b bar that is 
सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ ए बार एंड बी बार सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ स्केलर कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ गिवन टू वेक्टर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग दिस यू कैन जस्ट फाइंड द सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ गिवन टू वेक्टर्स दट इज इन अदर वे ए बार डाट बी बार इज ईक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दट इज स्केलर कॉम्पोनेंट्स स्केलर कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ गिवन टू वेक्टर्स इट इज एक्स वन इंटू एक्स टू वी हेव एक्स वन इंटू एक्स टू प्लस वी हेव वाई वन इंटू वाई टू वाई वन इंटू वाई टू अगेन प्लस वी हेव जड वन इंटू जड टू जड वन इंटू जड टू ओके यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट द आंसर दट ईज सम प्रोडक्ट ऑफ करस्पॉिंग स्केल आर् कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ ए टू गिवन वेक्टर्स दट ईज एक्स वन इंटू एक्स टू प्लस वै वन इंटू वै टू प्लस जड वन इंटू जड टू फर् एक्सापल इफ ए बार इज ईक्वल टू इफ ए बार इज ईक्वल टू ई प्लस जे मैनस टू के अंड बी बार इज ईक्वल टू मैनस ई प्लस टू जे मैनस टू के मैनस टू के दर् डाट बी बार इज ईक्वल टू वाट इज द स्केलर कंपोनेंट इयर दट इज वन वन इंटू मैनस वन वी हेव मैनस वन सो वाट इज द स्केलर कंपोनेंट इयर वन वन इंटू वी आर् स्केलर कंपोनेंट टू वन इंटू टू वी हेव प्लस टू अगेन वाट इज स्केलर कंपोनेंट मैनस टू इंटू मैनस टू वी हेव प्लस फोर प्लस फोर अगेन दट इज ईक्वल टू टू प्लस फोर सिक्स वी हेव सिक्स मैनस वन वी हेव फाइव सो दिस इज अकेलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए बार एंड बी बार रिमेबर हलवेज द डाट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स ईज ए स्केल आर् ईज ए स्केल आर आर् ए रियल नंबर आर् रियल नंबर यू शुड रिमेबर दिस अगेन अनदर एक्सापल इफ ए बार इज ईक्वल टू ई प्लस फोर जे प्लस टू के अंड बी बार इज ईक्वल टू मैनस ई प्लस टू के प्लस फोर के देन वाट ईज ए बार डाट बी बार दट ईज ए बार डाट बी बार इज ईक्वल टू वाट इज कलर कंपोनेंट इयर टू वाट इज कलर कंपोनेंट इयर मैनस वन टू इंटू मैनस वन वी हेव मैनस टू स्केलर कंपोनेंट ऑफ J where are? okay what is the J four here there is no uh, J term there four zero into four we have zero again plus two into four we have eight again that is equals to we have plus six okay so dot product of two vectors is a scalar okay next we have जियामेट्रिकल मीनिंग आफ् डाट प्रोडक्ट आर् स्केलर प्रोडक्ट आफ् टू वेक्टर्स हिफ ए बार अंड बी बार आर् एनी टू नॉन् जीरो वेक्टर्स एनी टू नॉन् जीरो वेक्टर्स दी हाव प्रोजेक्शन आफ् first vector on second vector projection of that is a uh, projection of a bar on b bar is given by a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of b bar magnitude of b bar again projection of a bar on b bar is given by a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of second vector that is uh, b bar similarly projection of projection of b bar on a bar b bar on a bar is equals to a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar magnitude of a bar so we know that b bar dot a bar can be written as what a bar dot b bar so we know that dot product of 
two vectors is commutative that is a bar dot b bar is equals to b bar dot a bar so therefore projection of b bar on a bar is equals to a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar so here you should remember uh, three formulas that is one we have magnitude of a bar plus b bar whole square is equals to magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square plus 2 of a bar dot b bar magnitude of a bar plus b bar whole square is equal to magnitude of a bar plus magnitude of b bar plus 2 of a bar dot b bar similarly second one we have magnitude of a bar minus b bar whole square is equal to magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square minus 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar next we have third one it is magnitude of a bar plus b bar plus c bar whole square is equals to we have magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square plus we have magnitude of c bar whole square plus 2 of a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot c bar b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar c bar dot a bar again magnitude of a bar plus b bar plus c bar whole square is equal to magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square plus magnitude of c bar whole square plus 2 of a bar dot b bar b bar dot c bar c bar dot a bar you should remember these three formulas which are very important okay so dear children practice this once we'll see the problems in the next session thank you